else going on guys? Night vision please here. Back at it again with another video and this time with a friend, no webcam. I am so sorry. But um so I guess it's just um I guess part two of uh, my news show that I do. Uh oh, I can't get up. Uh anyway, so this is part two with my friend, uh and uh, he's gonna be helping me out doing the news. Uh, so, what topic do you want to do first? Um, do you want to talk about COD? About uh, the new yeah. COD trailer? Uh, so basically, we saw the new Call of Duty trailer, and it was absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, well, it wasn't that great. Well, okay, the thing is, I am not entirely PC Master Race, and hate consoles and stuff like that. These guys are glitching, they can't get up anyway. I'm not entirely weirdo like that, that think PC is better and best and everything. So, I do like Battlefield and Call of Duty, and I have uh, the games, some of them, on uh, both uh, platforms. And I uh, play them equally the same. My aim is not as good as PC, just because I don't play this much, but... Um, so, I'm open-minded to both games, and just by the trailers, I can just tell you that the trailer for... Uh, Infinite Warfare uh, it was pretty, pretty terrible. Uh, I'm just saying because it it wasn't really what anybody wanted. Um, it had if you look really closely, there are a few characters using uh, boosting jumps, rocket boots or whatever, and um, like uh, thrusters. They didn't have exosuits, which yay, but they still mm -hmm. had boosters. And, I mean, it didn't look like you could bunny hop. Um, but it was still, um, uh, it was still, I mean, boost jumps, and, uh, no one really wanted that. And, uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, so, actually, a little backstory. So, the first ever, uh, like, a Call of uh, Duty game I ever played with my friend, he, uh, brought over his Xbox to my, uh, my house. And it was, um, I mean, besides school and stuff, first time he, like, ever, like, came to my house. So he brought his Xbox, uh, he brought Battlefield Bad Company, and, um, uh, and, uh, Modern Warfare, Call of Duty 4. And I played that, and it was pretty much the, uh, the first Call of Duty I ever played, and it was pretty cool. We did some split-screen multiplayer, like, some noobs, and, um, and, uh, yeah, and this is the first Call of Duty I ever played. I'm not gonna get, it's not like it's super deep story, it's supposed to hit you in the feels, but it was. And uh, it was pretty fun, and I was actually more interested in the remastered COD 4 than, uh, Infinite Warfare. Just because Infinite Warfare looked a little bit like a game that came out on the PS3 in about 2009. It was where you're like a, oh, I forget what it was called, but you're like a mech suit. And you had like uh, swords, and you could jet slide around and stuff, and you had spaceships. Forget what it's called, but I played it a little bit, and that's exactly what Infinite Warfare looked like. The graphics were okay, yeah, but um, it just did not look uh very, very uh like um uh, interesting. Now let's talk about the Battlefield One trailer. I um my friend was talking about earlier that uh did they pull in a Microsoft call the newest game one and um yeah so basically but the story about that is that um it's called one because um because the first battlefield game was battlefield 1942 it was mm -hmm. world war two and the game that got announced yesterday yesterday morning uh, is world war one it still had swords and stuff and horses and stuff like that so it was yeah so it was world war one still and yeah. um yeah so um that's why it's called battlefield one and the graphics were amazing like uh yeah, i didn't i didn't I, I didn't buy um battlefront that's because the reviews weren't that great and i realized that i'm probably to get any 
a decent size of content, I would have to get some DLC, which, yeah, it's an EA game, which I know that's a given with EA games, but it was a little worse than usual, so I never got that. But the graphics look, but the graphics look better than Battlefront on PC. Like, they look amazing, yeah. the graphics, and graphics aren't the biggest deal, but the graphics look amazing, and you could use... No, holy crap, I'm no clipping through everything. The ping is terrible. Yeah, my ping is about 83. There's another guy with 125 ping. Okay, that's pretty terrible. But, um, the graphics were amazing. It looked cool. It said it was all in-engine. Uh, there was horses. You could see people with swords. You could see people with cannons and different types of tanks. And there was gas, like a tear gas. And, and the Zeppelin? Yeah, Zeppelin. It was a big deal. It was pretty cool. There is a like a biplane with cannons on them, and um, they're using tear gas and um, they're using tear gas and gas masks and clubs and shovels and horses. And it was it was just epic. They hype us up like every year, even with uh, Battlefield Hardline. They hype. They always hype it up, but this time it really looked like a really good game. This and it's only a what 45 second trailer, minute trailer, yeah. but I mean it's it looks amazing. Uh, it looked really amazing. Um, and uh, see, I'm on the system I play the most Battlefield 4 on is on my PS4, and I'm only like level 23 on there, so it's not like I'm super good at the game, but I mean it's fun. I I like the game. And, um, I mean, maybe I, I might get, uh, might play a lot more Battlefield. I mean, uh, they got us good because, uh, uh, you can't buy, um, uh, you can't buy, uh, Modern Warfare Remastered Remastered by itself, yeah. which, if you could, Holy crap! Would they lose sales on their new game? Like I bet is you, it gonna be, like I bet you, Infinity it, War would go bankrupt. Or at yeah. least into is it gonna be fan um, funding or something? What? Is it gonna be a code that comes with the game? Because uh, if if that's the case, yeah, then people says, are just gonna sell the code. It says digital download only. Yeah, and that's another thing. Okay, so um, I was looking for the uh, before. Nuketown personalization pack on PS4 was available free. Uh, I pre-ordered Black Ops 3, and I had the little code on my receipt. And who keeps receipts? Because uh, I I didn't keep the receipt for my pre-order. Um, mm -hmm. So I just threw away the receipt. Oh, I didn't throw it away. I have it in this little bag of receipts from GameStop. I could have codes. So a few weeks later. I, um, I took out the code, and it said expired, and I was like, what, it expires a month after I bought the game? So I went on eBay trying to look for codes for the personalization pack, and they're like $45 for just a code to get a camo on your gun. Yeah. So, and if you're getting a full game, which Modern Warfare Remastered is a full game, it just has a little bit less maps than the, uh, than regular Modern Warfare, improved graphics, so it's pretty much as far as we're concerned, a full game. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, retailing for an additional price of the base game, Infinite Warfare. It's $30, $35 extra. Um, how much are they going to resell that for if it's a separate code and not an actual disc? Even if it's a disc, you can still resell that. So. Yeah. Let's just hope it's not on the disc of Infinite Warfare. Oh, yeah. Warfare. yeah. Like, uh, on disc DLC, Konami. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, and our next topic, um, about how stupid Nintendo is and Nintendo NX. Because, yeah. um, they said that, um, uh, uh, they said that, um, they said uh, that, they have no reason to go to E3 or have a keynote or a press conference of any kind this year. 
but they just gave us a um they just gave us a generalized release date for um for the Nintendo NX. They said Q2 2017, which people No, they said uh, I think they said March 2017. Well, um maybe um I don't know, but um basically and there's a guy that works for Nintendo that uh, was some developer for that. He said the only reason it's not coming out in October or whatever is because uh, the Nintendo NX is such a gimmick, just like the Wii U was with the gamepad and that looked like a Wii Wii accessory, like a regular. Mm -hmm. They said that the Nintendo NX is such a gimmick. There are pretty much no games. They he said that there are literally one or two launch titles for the Nintendo NX being uh, made right now and the only reason they pushed it back is they hope they have more than three launch titles by the time mm. March 27th or Q2 2017 comes around which is pretty pretty kind of dumb and with the there's been rumors of uh, Phil McCracken of doing a Xbox 1.5 and the PlayStation 4 Neo has been confirmed there is no chance you're going to make any sales Nintendo on the Nintendo NX. Because I don't know about that. I'm... Eh. I mean, people buy, people buy Nintendo stuff no matter what. You know what I mean? Yeah, but they're mainly collectors. Like, they don't really play the, play the games. Like, I don't... Like, I, I don't know because... What's gonna happen is, ooh, I'm gonna go in a spinning vehicle. Um, what's gonna happen is, the Neo is gonna come out in, uh, let's say, uh, first week of November, right? I mean, I don't even know. I don't work for PlayStation because I'm, I'm 12. Uh, Neo? What do you mean? What's the Neo? It's uh, gonna be 4K compatible and have an extra chip for uh, PlayStation VR. Oh. So basically, it's uh pretty much it's supposed to be more powerful, and um, and supposedly that comes out in uh or sometime uh before the holidays. Um, well, obviously, yeah. They want to get it out the holidays. It's supposedly it's gonna come out before the holidays and maximize their sales. And and then the Xbox One Point Five, which presumably because the rumors are just coming out like yesterday about a new iteration of the Xbox One. Let's say that's going to come out sometime after, what, December? Maybe, maybe even February, let's say that might come out. Maybe, just a rumor. With those consoles that are established consoles into this console generation that most, a lot of people already have, and Who's gonna, who's gonna want a Nintendo, like, I don't know, it's just, just confusing, because, mm -hmm. uh, no one's gonna forget Nintendo, like, that will never happen, and, yeah. and the thing is, the reason why Sega isn't forgotten with their stupid games and stuff that are so glitchy and absolutely terrible that no one plays, I haven't played a recent Sega game in in years, really, um, mm -hmm. is because over in Japan and stuff, they make dishwashers. They make they're like a huge conglomerate of everything. That's the only reason why they're not bankrupt is because they own a lot of well, stuff in Japan. And Konami. And they. And, and, and Sega does the thing where they um, don't release games in the West. Because there's a bunch of really cool Japanese Sega games. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but actually, yeah. Region. Yeah, that that is a thing. Oh, that was a cool, sh cool kill. Anyway, um, but yeah, that's that's the only reason they're not pretty much bankrupt. That's really the only reason. Because it's and Konami too. Like all the shade they've been doing for about the past year and a half. Um, the only reason they're not pretty much forgotten is because they make like utensils and 
clothing and stuff in Japan, and they they make just stuff, and they also make arcade games and other games that will never release here in America. So that's yeah. the only reason. And even if Nintendo NX doesn't do well, even if it does worse than the Wii U did, which the Wii U did pretty pretty terrible, um, it they're not going to be forgotten. It's Nintendo, and they're not going to be, you know. They're not going to go bankrupt or whatever. They're still going to be Nintendo. Like, yeah. really. Um, oh, and I have just one last topic uh, that should be it. Um, is that, um, uh, so it's about PC gaming. Um, so basically, uh, a few days ago, DreamHack uh, Austin, Texas came out. Um, it's a convention for uh, PC gaming and graphics cards and stuff. And NVIDIA released a new, two new graphics, all well, three new graphics cards. And that's the NVIDIA GTX 1070, NVIDIA GTX 1080, and the NVIDIA GTX 1080 Founders Edition. And what's, su and what's super amazing about these, not only are they three graphics cards, but all of them, all of these graphics cards, and there's even one for about close to three hundred dollars. It's a little bit less than that. That is ten. Yeah, really that good. is in order of magnitude more powerful than a fifteen hundred dollar graphics card you can buy today. Wait, really? Yeah, I, I. Yeah, no, no joke, no troll. That's that's really true, and um, I mean, um, what's so amazing about this is that people, it's going to open up a whole new thing for PC gaming. Just imagine you can have a game, a, a computer that can run Battlefield, Battlefield, the newest Battlefield, let's say, on mm -hmm. ultra settings on a thousand dollar PC, which is, which you pretty much can't do right now. Because, so let's say you have your uh, close to three hundred dollar um, uh, GPU, which is in order GTX 970. Uh, GTX 1070, and that costs around $300. Then, really? then you have your power supply. You can get one, a decent one, for about um, $170. Your motherboard for $150. And then um, some RAM, and some RAM for about $70. And a CPU for about close to maybe let's say a hundred fifty dollars then you have a, a thousand something odd uh computer that can crush anything which which is really if if you're a person that gets two two consoles the when the new generation comes out if you're a person that does that then um it's it's basically the same price as that as getting two consoles because yeah. and that's really interesting because I mean the only thing is um, there's not going to be much value to their more powerful industrial graphics cards for stuff because when you have a three hundred dollar uh, graphics card that's an order of magnitude, which is a hundred times more powerful mm -hmm. than a fifteen hundred odd dollar graphics card. There's not going to be any more value to that, which yeah. I mean, and the other bad thing is, I mean, I'm not some scientist or whatever. The other bad thing with that is that, so say everybody, because it's a pretty good idea to get graphics cards that are so powerful at at this price, what's going to mm -hmm. happen is they're going to become commonplace, and then basically what's going to happen is that you're going to require gonna... that everyone's going to have these, so developers are developing for these as basic um, basic uh, graphic cards, which will in mm -hmm. turn force you to have top of the line to have games on high settings, because what's uh, powerful now is going to be commonplace because they're so cheap compared yep. to 
other ones and they're more powerful and cheaper than other ones will become commonplace, which will force you to have to spend extra money for new graphics cards because developers for games aren't going to require them. So, yeah. yeah. Um, that was my last topic. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this. This should be part two of my tech news show. Leave in the comments if uh, you like it uh, with my friends. Uh, my, my friend doing the show with me. Um, and yeah, if uh, you um, if you like the video, uh, put a like button on the video and subscribe. Leave a comment on how you like the video. Give me feedback. Uh, no trolling. Um, and yeah, well, that's uh, pretty much it. I'm sorry for this gameplay. Everyone on the server has about 125 ping. I think there's like a server in the Philippines or something. I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, guys, but uh, at least it wasn't uh, too distracting gameplay. You can focus on what we were talking about. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And the Night Vision Gamer is out. Peace.